Tyler Florence here at the Kitchen of the Year. Uh, we're right in the middle of uh, Rockefeller Center and uh, we're having a big party to celebrate our uh, Kitchen of the Year with House Beautiful magazine. We have a serial column in the magazine and this past year we've asked Tyler to be the guest columnist. It's called uh, Cooking in Tyler's Kitchen and as a part of that we then went on and asked him to design our Kitchen of the Year this year. When they asked me to be involved uh, in the design of this, I was really honored. Um, Jeff Lewis is last year, and he's got a really great design. I lives in Los Angeles. Uh, Ina Garden had the year before that. Christopher Peacock the year before that. So we want to do something that really took it to the next level. This year, we've really come back to what's sort of the heart and soul of House Beautiful, and it's this beautiful, lush kitchen, you know, with lush colors like the black cabinets and countertops, and really open and inviting, and it's just the kind of space that you could live in. And so it's a little 1895, it's a little 1955, that's all 2011. Uh, we have um, uh, kind of a, a, a nice color palette that feels kind of easy on the eye. Your eye can rest as you kind of take a look at the space. It's very comfortable, it's very easy to look at. It's also really interactive. We wanted to really kind of think about something that, that felt service oriented, right? Because if you're feeding your children or you're throwing a black tie party, it's about making something that feels elegant, comfortable at the same time, and some places people can have fun, right? We can share. Really excited to have Tyler doing it this year because he also brings this uh, Northern California sensibility to the kitchen, which is sort of indoor-outdoor. This year we've grown Kitchen of the Year to have a whole outdoor component, which is really exciting. I can't believe they're actually firing up that pizza oven and cooking out there. When you're entertaining and you have guests and you want to really take advantage of the beautiful weather and sit outside, but you got to cook in the kitchen, it's kind of a it's kind of a letdown, you know, because you're stuck in a kitchen and everybody else is having a good time. So we just had to take the party outside and, and, and have a really great example of what an outdoor kitchen could really be. Stone and wood and just really great materials and yeah, it's good.